Welcome, web editors. It's Jimmy here. I wanted to talk a little bit about Codecademy and my expectations for what I wanted you to uh, actually turn in. So let's go to the Codecademy particular page that I want you to start with. Uh, you'll notice that when you eventually, uh, I, I've linked each of the courses individually, but I wanted to show you that uh, they have something here called the web track, and you can see all of them kind of as an overview. Remember that you need to make yourself a Codecademy account so that you can save your progress as you go. If you want to work a little bit, log out and come back again later, by having an account, you'll be able to do that. The first thing we're going to do is work our way through these two sections of the Introduction to HTML course. You're supposed to work through both parts. And at the very end, I actually had it open. I'll go to it now. At the very end of this, uh, build your own web page section way down in the sixth lesson. If I can get the thing to respond to me, you've got a chunk of code that I want you to provide for me. Uh, I know we've talked about it before, but it's worth mentioning that all of the instructions over here on the left hand side, the code that you write, which is not only uh, syntax highlighted, but the line numbers are there, is here in the middle, and the little tiny emulated browser that Codecademy uses over here on the right as you type code here, Jimmy's awesome web page. It will change what's displayed over here and you can at this point what I would want you to do is take the code that you've written so let's highlight all this. You know that wasn't cool enough. This is Jimmy's super cool web page because I couldn't see anything in the see there it is super cool. Excellent. So I'm gonna take this code now copy it this is the final lesson of the entire Codecademy intro to uh, HTML course. I'm going to take the, my final product. I'm going to switch over to my text editor, which I'm using BB Edit here. You'll notice that I pasted in my new code. Awesome and super cool. I'm using BB Edit even though uh, Text Wrangler is a great free alternative. There are some tools that as a programmer and web developer, BB Edit comes with. I don't recommend everybody going and buying a... a text editor. BB Edit is probably the, maybe not the best one you can get, but it's certainly been very, very successful for me. If you're using Windows, you could use, instead of uh, BB Edit or Text Wrangler, you could use Notepad++ or some other program. There are lots of them out there. Uh, if you find one, share it on one of the discussions on the uh, course website and we can, everybody can see what's out there. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to say File, I'm going to say Save As, I'm going to make sure I know where I'm saving it, so I'm going to save it to my desktop. I'm going to give it a really good name, codecademy-assignment-1-myEUID. Not that it has to be called that, but now I know exactly what it is. Uh, you can give it another name if you'd like. I'm going to hit save. And now later on, once I learn how to use FTP, I can take that file from my desktop and put it onto my web space. So I want this to be the process you'll follow for each of the Codecademy products we're going to go through go back to the HTML and CSS section. So we're going to work our way through the first course, which is Introduction to HTML. It's the first assignment. You saw me take the final product from Build Your Own Web Page, and I'm going to save that to my hard drive so I can upload it later. Then the next assignment coming up here, not quite yet, is the HTML structure, which is the using lists, or HTML2, I sometimes call it. You're supposed to work your way through this one as well. Again, your social networking profile on the very last assignment, save that to an HTML file so you can upload it later. We're going to skip over the tables, divs, and spans for now. We may revisit that. And the third assignment I'm going to ask you to do is this introduction to CSS, where you have to design a button for your website. And ultimately, that particular uh, thing will also have to be saved. When you get to this one though, notice there's not only HTML, there's CSS. We'll revisit that a little bit later. You'll also see that there are a lot of things you can learn on Codecademy. I am using the HTML and CSS because that's the specific stuff I'm interested in you learning, but Python and JavaScript and many, many other things are available from Codecademy. It's definitely a great tool. I recommend it for everyone. I've tried to, on the assignments page, make a link for each of the Codecademy courses I'm expecting you to work through. There are some other videos that talk about how to do some of the other things, but I figured I should give you a very specific example of what I was expecting from you. Okay, get out there and code.